Hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about democratic France. The show of democratic France is to protect the free world. You must protect Czechoslovakia, Poland, Baltic State, Finland, and Yugoslavia, Romania, uh, everyone against the dictator's aggression. And my plan was to reject the when the Sherman asked for the Sudanland, I reject and the war started. But by that time I had my forces here in Poland and Czechoslovakia. So the Polish and the Czechs are quite capable of holding the line. But I give them some help. And while they do the, the show of defending, I did the job of attacking and encircling and close to connect to Holland. And we did two huge pockets. Only one remains here, the other one was up here. And the Sherman force is destroyed. If you are going to play, you need to balance uh, things a little bit better. For example, I didn't leave forces, almost no forces here. But since the Italians are concerned about Germany, they are sending troops here. And they are leaving the border empty. I also didn't protect Africa, so... The Italians are expanding in Africa, but it's going to be pointless because they spend troops here while I'm going to destroy Italy very soon when I, I'm going to move out my tanks from here. There is not going to be any more risk in the uh, North Sea, so I'm going to go with the tank down here and cut Italy in the half. So let's start from the beginning. The first move is to start training all the planes, bring them all back to France and bring all your units to France and Attention. I deleted all the templates, all the units that are not this one, I created this template that is going to be my standard infantry and, and remove all the, the other units and retrain all the units to this template. This is the actual template, I'm going to put here one anti-air and that's it because it's going to be an early war and Sherman is super weak and 38 so this template is quite capable of defending and you need to defend many points so you don't have time to do a better template. Regarding technology I went for the technical aspect industry but very soon I researched the tanks model 36 and the cannon, this one that is the close support gun, is super important for this tank. So with this basic tank and the support cannon you are fine. And started with the engineering and technology, this one and this one. Also build military factories right away because you are going to be going to work very early. You don't have time for civilian factories and I put two factories on rifles, anti-air, supplies, soft artillery, I lack soft artillery so I went a bit heavy on soft artillery and I already designed my first tank, I'm going heavy on the tanks because I have a quite a nice infantry army already but I need to re reform and rebalance so I put more factories in supplies so I, I give them more equipment to the engineers and artillery because you are also going to have little manpower so I go heavy on artillery and less heavy on infantry to save manpower and give more punch but I designed a tank very early we are going to check the tank design and here it is I'm already designing the tank for the spearhead I'm not using tanks designed for infantry because it's super early and I did the job is going to be done by the Czechs and the Polish so I give the best cannon of the 36 that is the close support tank cannon that is this one close support gun also give them a two or three turret because the, I use the two main turret because the three main turret gives less reliability and speed use my best radio, this one for reliability, heavy machine guns for more punch and I should give him the here another light machine gun and I leave the transmission, improve the transmission but leave the standard engine and the standard wielding. Also give it 
8 points of armor, so it has a nice breakthrough. And of course, armor, but it's not needed the armor. I give the armor points for creeping breakthrough. So it has breakthrough and punch. So I start accumulating this kind of tanks and I will keep adding to my template as, the, as, I, as I create them. I will keep adding and growing the template. It's going to be a dynamic template for the offensive. And this should be your initial offensive template. It's an incremental template. You should train this unit and you have this unit on the field and on the fly you are going to be keep adding tanks and the unit will keep getting stronger. But you already will have this unit trained to level 3. So you, you shouldn't train this unit last minute. You should transform one of your best unit into this one. And here we have Mm, the best recon company that I had at that time have plenty of trucks but I use infantry instead of trucks because we are going to be fighting in forest on difficult terrain I don't care about speed because we are in Germany distances are very close it's more important to have bonuses fighting in forest crossing rivers hills mountains than having a fast unit that moves very well on planes like the trucks are not useful for this war right now. So I'm training four of this unit. I have them here and, and they are almost at top capacity, level three. And when they reach level three and I get more tanks, I will add another battalion of tanks and this unit will get much better. Regarding the political path, you should go this way and this way because it will give you a commander that is great. It's here, it gives you plus 10 attack and you will start gaining experience for the army that you are going to need so get this guy as soon as possible after this guy that is the plus 15 political power you get this one you are not going to be able to go to the second focus after an event you are going to be able to get this and after an event that increases your war support you are going to be able to go here so I go first here wait for this one while I solve the political situation. For that I'm going this path, this one, this one, then left, this one, this one, and then this one and this one. That way I, with all these three I create an alliance with Poland and Czechoslovakia, super important, and it increases your chances a lot. This is your first priority. This focus is Czechoslovakia, it's going to be the first, you create your own faction, after that you go for this one, Poland, then this one, England, and this one, Yugoslavia. You are not going to need fighters, because you have quite a nice big air force, and England has a nice air force too, so after you sign the pact with Poland, transfer your troop to Poland, Czechoslovakia, and some to Yugoslavia here a little bit and of course in your border and try to hold the line from them all and just use the template that I mentioned to destroy Konigsberg here you cut the line here we're going to show that right now now war has started all across the line I failed to protect Yugoslavia so they are going to be crushed very fast I didn't send troops to Yugoslavia, but I should, I, I should balance better my production lines and my units, you are going to get the hand of it after a couple of plays, but this is my production line, lot of tanks, anti-air, military equipment, artillery and the useless ships that completely useless for France. Political, you have several good options, for example this one will get rid of the problem of manpower, that you have a, a problem here in the political, that is kind of full employment, you get rid of that, and to the right of that one, you have here, you get rid of this joint government, but there is some requirement that I not I do not fully understand, because I, I did this one, I could advance, advance down there, if you know how to get that one, Please let me know in the comments. But basically you have plenty of wood focus to go with. After this you can boost your industry, your colonies, whatever you want. 
but I did do this first so I get my allies and start the war with Germany as soon as possible so when the Soviets declare on Poland I'm ready for them regarding my template I did a super trash template because when I disbanded all the, the, the French units I had tons of light tanks kind of useless trash from the first wall but I used them to fill the ranks so I have just in this case four medium tanks and four old tanks that they give me some breakthrough here it's okay so I could fill four units yeah, instead of two but I think that you should be better you are going to be better just doing two super strong units that four but well this Bye. works this way we are going to do some attack for example here and let's see let's put speed Bye. 2 because it's going a bit too fast and this group group number one yeah, group number on. two group number one we're going to hit there helping the polish this already arrived and Equity. now group one we're going to move this well I'm right in this direction it's okay we need to reach Konigsberg Attention. En arrière. Écoutez. Écoutez. Aux ordres. I'm preparing the air force for the fight with the Soviets. You need to modernize it a bit, little bit. We are going to use the extra punch because we are needing it here. And we conquer Konigsberg. Okay, now you get rid of the pockets. You are going to free some Polish units and they are going to go to the frontier and they are going to keep pushing. I move the drop to troops to Czechoslovakia for me is the perfect place to attack Germany it's deep into Germany and we are going to take the supply depots here and we are going to go now north to Berlin and to the coast and we are going to trap half of the Sherman army so we start the attack we can use the special ability We are in speed 2, we are going to go speed 3. The units, these armor units are very bad, but as you get more medium tanks and you get the 39 Howitzer, they will improve Bye. a lot. And we keep pushing. And the Polish and Czechs will follow, but I usually have some already have here here some of my infantry so I use my the infantry that I sent to Poland to support well I forgot about Yugoslavia it doesn't matter because they are going to waste here units while we eat their like homeland and we right. keep pressing this one this one take the city well you get the idea in a few days you should be able to reach the port in the coast and you are going to trap lots of Sherman units here and here the, the pocket here is already eliminated it has only one remaining group here but it was much much bigger up to here and well you can help the Polish to finish the pockets or you can keep advancing and this is my final save game, the one that you saw at the start of the game. And you should go in technology as soon as you can to the 39 artillery. That is, not this one, maybe I already had it. Let me see. In this one, I'm working on it. And when you have this, you should add the medium howitzer to your own tanks, and they are going to be unstoppable and keep replacing in the basic template as long as you produ 
produce let me show you the lines I have many tanks so I'm going to fill the unit the very very soon the spearhead I'm also producing more rifles because I miscalculated the Italians here but I could solve that very fast with a fast deploy you can do that pressing this button here and since they are the Italians are not very good the units deployed will be enough Écoutez. to hold this line very easily but as I mentioned the tanks connect here they go by sea and destroy the Italians very quickly and don't forget your bombers I didn't use them the fighters I forget to, to use them all but they help a lot and with what you have from the from your standard stock is all is enough you don't need to build more but keep improving the technology because you're going to need them to perform better against the Soviet Union and regarding ministers I went for this guy special forces because my infantry template sorry my tank template is using infantry I'm going to be using marines and mountaineers like I show in the other video that I used to break the machine outline they are very useful in Italy because Italy is very small but has mountains and rivers and you reach Rome very fast with that unit but for the Soviet Union I will change the template for armor trucks we were going to be having armor trucks at that time and you can change infantry templates without losing um, experience so I will use the, the mountaineers and marines to destroy Italy and the rest of Europe and then I will swap to armor trucks to sweep the Soviet Union and the minister is this one the special forces I have the political power guy the military factories and the democratic guy that it was the first one daily democracy support to improve my stability and not more nothing else you have plenty of stuff to go after they have a very good tree in the long run and that's all hope you find this information useful if you did a like would be great a subscribe even better thanks for watching bye bye